I'm Scott Allen Miller. It is the 10th of January, 2023, and this is my vlog of daily life in Leon, Nicaragua. And today, I'm just out on Nicaragua 14 taking a walk. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what it's like just west of the city. I've done this from a taxi before, but I've never come out this far and shown it to you. So I'm going to show you a little bit of where we are. So this is a pretty traditional bus stop here in the country. And yes, they actually exist out in the country, which is pretty neat. Now, there's one over there, and then I'm standing in one over here. You can get a look and uh, you can see we've got a, a volcano. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a volcano out above those trees. And I'm gonna walk through the bus stop over here. There's actually a sidewalk out in the country. It's nice that there's so many things, even when you're pretty far out in Nicaragua, there's stuff, there's sidewalks and bus stops and like it's actually functional to live pretty far out. And here we are in one of these Tigo painted bus stops. And really what you do is you just sit. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? You sit and a bus comes along and picks you up and uh, he either goes into the city that way or off to the beach this way, the way that I'm walking. It's a little bit late in the afternoon. I'm filming this at about three o'clock. I wanna say no, I'm gonna say it's four o'clock. And uh, this is actually, so I've never actually been this close. This is a beautiful country house. I had no idea this was here. I mean, I drive past, but in a taxi you go by so quickly and with the trees and the bus stop and stuff, you kind of miss it. But this is a multi-story, quite classy house with nothing around it. So, and I, you know, you can really see if you want to be on the highway, but have a quiet place that no one knows about, it's gonna be a pretty good getaway. And actually, okay, I think this has gotta be for sale. That says Save Vende, I'm pretty sure. It's a little bit hard to read. And then there's this little dirt lane that goes off somewhere and a small house here on the road. And this is kind of cute. Look at that little place. There's, a, there's several really cute little houses nestled along in here that I've never noticed interesting and we're i mean we're right on the highway this is not exactly a neighborhood it's just a a row of small houses here huh interesting who would have guessed but close enough you just get to the bus stop go into the city and stuff uh you know i can only imagine that those are houses that are you know between 10 and maybe sixteen thousand dollars at most and even that maybe maybe far less because uh that's about what they would be on the beach here kind of in the country could be could be quite a bit less feasibly now this is i love this style i love these curved pillars that uh curved brick style we're at the end of the sidewalk here by the way i'm now walking on the road uh, but this is a cute little place. I'm really amazed by just how little I have noticed the places that exist along the road here. I literally just tripped over a flip-flop. I was left on the road. <laughs> Considering how many times I have driven down this road over the past two years, that there's even a single house along it that I don't know is kind of amazing. That there's this, that any number, that there's like a community of houses and stuff, that, that kind of blows my mind. So pretty quickly we're out in the country and this is really what uh, the highways are like in Nicaragua all over the country. They look pretty roughly like this. And uh, you find some beautiful houses, you find some tiny little places, uh, lots of trees and so forth. Oh, I love the color of this bougainvillea over here. Look at how bright that is, that pink and purple. And there's like, I don't know how much we can see. This is a beautiful spot. This kind of has a, this has got a neat little vibe sitting right here with the, the beautiful mountain back behind and the, the yellow and the beautiful flowers. And there's a nice tiled driveway here. This could be something really fancy. There's, there's definitely a very large house back there. And you can see there's some tiles down there behind the trees. There's a walkway here. Wow. That is, that, and a dog. Hidden gem of a house. We got some really nice places along here. Now, Okay, I'm really glad that I came out for this walk down here. I'm on Nicaragua 14. I'm west of Leon. There you can see one of the volcanoes really clearly in the distance. I have no idea where this road goes. I will explore it someday, but not today. And then this place, I think that goes back to these lots. So I don't know what this is. Cactus mania. I just had to show that. But so this has a sign that says say Venden lot. So what that means is they have lots for sale. And this was presumably 
once upon a time a model home. Now, obviously it's not a model home now. That's a abandoned place with no windows and a stack of tires. But you can see how if that was brand new, that would be beautiful and have a lot of potential. And uh, just before uh, the times got bad here for a while, there was um, a big growth of what are called lotifications. And lotifications are just subdivisions like we have in the United States, right? Where you take a farm or a ranch or whatever and you, and you turn it into a bunch of housing lots. And here we just use the simple, ver the simple uh, yeah, verb, lotification, to refer to that. And there's still these old signs that still exist, say venden lotes. We sell lotifications, or for sale, lotifications. And uh, maybe that was a road once upon a time that went back to one. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting that there was so much of that and then it disappeared. Now this appears to be a field for sale. So, huh, definitely, definitely pretty cool. Um, and seeing kind of the history of stuff and boy, going out for a walk down here, it's so different being on the ground. I, and I think this is really true, right? When you're driving through Nicaragua or any place, right? Um, the way that it feels from a car is so different than how it feels on the ground. I'm sorry, I just keep spinning the camera around, but I kind of want to talk and walk in the sun direction makes it a little bit tough. But this is like, I had no idea there was a, a road going back here and there's a big housing lot here. I'm going to step onto the road. There's a little bit of traffic coming, but it's not too bad. I don't think they're going to clip me. And uh, clearly some stuff along here. Um, but when you're driving through a country, the vibe you get from the road is one thing. And sometimes uh, coming along from the road gives you a really positive view or a really negative view. And then when you're, you're actually on foot walking around, what's out there is so, so different and like this beautiful open field with a cool iguana. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but an iguana just ran across the path. And uh, the volcanoes and the mountains in the distance and the hills, and this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous spot. It's like a painting, right? I hear this is, this is just fantastic. I bet it would just be, it would be so pleasant to walk down there and explore. I was out exploring earlier this morning and did the yesterday's video for you. I did this morning and then this one I'm doing uh, probably about six hours later, eight hours later. And uh, I'm really enjoying getting out and walking today. I'm also enjoying getting out and experimenting with the exercise features on my Apple Watch. And here's a tractor going by. And uh, finally my foot is feeling better. So I am, I am out and trying to be pretty pretty easy on it with easy walking easy locations i'm, I'm not uh because city streets are tough and the cobblestones are tough but out here in the countryside things are mostly flat i almost got clipped by a bicycle and <laughs> that was really close and uh and it's really easy on my foot so it was a little bit sore after this morning but just the, just like sore not like hurt so that's that's pretty good uh, i think i'm stretching it out and and hopefully improving it and one of the things that's interesting I find is that when you drive through this area, it really gives a feeling of there being nothing. You get this feeling of kind of abandonment and it's like, well, you know, it's in between things and nothing happens. There's actually way back there, there's a nice fence. I don't know if we can see it, like way, way, way back there. And then there's this path that goes down and these fences that look like they're permanent, those are actually gates. Uh, humans come and, and move them, they only take a second. And like, as we come by here, this place on the left, 160 manzanas for sale. 160 manzanas. A manzana is 1.7 acres. So that's about 250 acres right there on the left. And there's a little trash fire going on there. And uh, this whole area is beautiful. Beautiful fields, beautiful countryside. Really like it. There's people back there hanging out with dogs. We've got a horse and, horse and buggy coming by. Buenas tardes. And I'm gonna to try to find a spot with a little bit of shade so I can get a view. Okay, I think we're good. Nope, maybe not. All right, we're gonna turn over here. I'm gonna swing around a little bit. I'm gonna show this beautiful hill and field. So now I'm a, I'm a lover of countryside. I said this in yesterday's video. I grew up in the country and, you know, growing up on a farm, I'm used to walking around in the country. I'm used to 
and getting way out. There's actually a bit of traffic. This is every car you see is going between the city and the beach. That's, that's the only thing here. There's no major industry in between. There's no settlement in between. I mean, there's a few houses, but out of all these cars, you'd be lucky if one or two of them was going anywhere but city or beach or coming from one of the cities. Uh, but growing up in the country, I just love getting out in, the, in, the, in nature and, and walking around. And this is fantastic. So much more beautiful on the ground than it is when you come by in a car and the car just seems so hot and it seems so dry and it seems so abandoned and just kind of blah right and when you're out here walking you oh it feels so fresh and the sun feels so good and and the quiet of rural nicaragua when the traffic isn't coming by this is beautiful i'm loving this it's just fantastic all right people are honking at me i'm gonna walk for a little bit and uh keep you guys from seeing the same path so I want to show a little bit more and the camera does overheat so I'm gonna walk down for a little ways and uh, we'll be back in a minute I think so often when people ask me what it is I love so much about Nicaragua and it's it's easy to talk about volcanoes and lakes and and all the nightlife and the music and how lively the cities are um, and the colonial infrastructure and the, how nice the people are and the healthy food and it's really easy to forget that there is this insanely beautiful Central American countryside and farmland and and rural living that Nicaragua has such a it's such a large country physically with such a small population 6.6 .6 million that a major component of being in Nicaragua is just how wide open it all is just how much fresh air just how much open country how many fields and trees and and that kind of stuff and I've been pretty slacking, I guess. I'm bringing you guys out on some walks out in the country. We've not been in a great position for me to do it. I've taken you guys along the beach in 2021. I took you around the city of Leon a ton in 2022. And uh, 2023 really needs to be a year of getting out and showing a lot more of what Nicaragua and some other places have to offer. And uh, wow, I love it out here. I'm excited about a lot more country walks, a lot more exploration. Hopefully my foot continues to heal. It's been doing well. Uh, my toes are still not where they're supposed to be. Like that's not gonna change. Uh, we can laugh about it because it's true. And uh, this appears to be a little country pulperia. These are the things I find so funny. There's a couple little houses here and one of them is a store and they're selling chips and soda and that kind of stuff out in the middle of nowhere but if you live way out here where are you going to go but so few people live out here how do you have a store like i don't know how any of this works the economics of some of these things always amaze me i also want to show you this drainage ditch so we're really far out in the country and this is what the drainage system is like out here it's pretty impressive now of course when we do get rainstorms we get a lot of rain right rain in nicaragua is not is not a silly thing it's uh we take we take our falling water quite seriously out here. And, uh, whew. oh, that was just my first mile. Very nice. I am just learning, I'm starting to sweat and get, get in my eyes here a little bit. I'm uh, just learning today for the very first time how to use the fitness applications on my Apple Watch, which I just got two weeks ago. So I'm, I'm learning how to do stuff. I plan on starting to use Apple Fitness. I want to experiment with that. I'm going to start doing like yoga or something. And try to figure out something i gotta do low impact stuff right i'm old and my foot's in rough shape and i'm out of shape and i gotta I, some of that i can fix i can't make myself younger i can't make my foot magically better but i can at least start to get into shape and and our chef yao has been helping with I'm, I'm eating white fish every other day i've had a bit of salmon i'm getting grilled vegetables multiple times a day I'm getting way way healthier food than i've been getting and uh, that's going to help a lot that's the first piece and now i'm starting to get out um, man am i enjoying this i'm just so happy i'm out for a walk wow and uh yeah, so let's get to today's stuff. So today we had, um, we work really busy. This whole week is, is a rough one. But this evening, we kind of got surprised. Uh, April came by, she hadn't really seen the house. So she came by and got a tour of the house. She's super jealous. She's super jealous of our new house. We love it. But she's also super jealous because she just had, uh, in her new house, she discovered 
two giant tarantulas, one of them being in her closet. Uh, not too thrilled about that. So she had this really big tarantula show up in her closet. She freaked out and immediately moved out. And luckily she does own other houses. So she moved into one of her other houses right away. But uh, that is not a happy situation to have to deal with. Okay, I had no idea how much water flowed by here. Hold on, we're gonna take a look at this. Look at the size of this stream. This is much bigger than the river in Leon that we used to show. Hopefully the camera's still going. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna walk past a little bit, try to get the glare down. This is a serious amount of water out here. At some point, I've gotta work my way down there and do some exploration. So this is pretty clean water, nothing like you get out in Leon. I'm gonna look on a map and figure out exactly where we are. We're around a group of people. I can hear people all over the place. I'm about to walk by a horse. There's another bus stop. Remember, and, and the sidewalk just started again. All right, and there's railings. Here, I'm gonna show now on that side, clearly there are stairs and things going down to the water. There's people out there playing. I do not know what is going on. That is a, an abandoned giant swimming pool out there. What did I just find? What is this? We drive past this stuff, I have no idea what's going on. Maybe that's a church? That must be a church. A church with a giant swimming pool and water down below. The stuff you find in Nicaragua, I tell you, I, I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe what we're looking at right now. Uh, we got no traffic? Okay, we're honking at me. I think that was Claudio. <laughs> that was all honking for me. We're just gonna pop over here and give you guys a little view. Well-painted gates, beautiful blue church. Can't read it from here, I'm not gonna walk in there. But uh, beautiful grounds and everything. Very interesting, but it's got like big stairs going down to the water over there. I, it looks like it used to be like long ago, like in the 1960s, like maybe that was something that went somewhere. Oh, and this is certainly part of it too. Look, once upon a time, man, I wouldn't want to walk across that. I hope there's a rebar in that. And there's like a little, <laughs> where's waving? the little communities that you stumble on out in these places. So I'm in a bus stop again, All right? I've just walked the mile between bus stops, a little bit more than a mile. And, uh, and it really feels like we popped into a little community. Look, we've got the big drainage. We've got the houses down below. We got like outside of a city style stuff. We got a lot of houses on both sides. I'm gonna walk across the road here and get back to it. But there's sidewalks on both sides, lots of sidewalks. And it's weird how these little communities pop up in the middle of nowhere. And as you drive by, again, like I'm saying, you just zip by, you have no idea that there's anything here. And there's actually, in many, in many cases, quite a bit of stuff. Many houses nestled behind things. There's a, a radio tower right over there. A lot of people, hola, buenas tardes. <laughs> and sidewalks, sidewalks everywhere. It's uh all very interesting. So, so April came over and she's very jealous that we don't have tarantulas yet. And, uh, and then she's like, oh, we're going to hang out. And then Marcella came over with her kids, with Tafari and Valentina. And, uh, oh, you can see a beautiful field just back behind there. And then, uh, April called her husband Aldo and they brought their daughter Ava over and so we had a huge dinner party. We ordered in pizzas from Oasis del Sabor and uh, Luchana made brownies, Giardelli brownies that she's, she's like the master baker now. So she's whipping up multiple, or, uh, multiple uh, uh, recipes worth of brownies all at once and doing the calculations and made, they were just epically good brownies. Probably, I mean, some of the best brownies I've ever had, literally so good. And we had pizza and just had a really nice evening. Uh, Marcella ran out to the store and picked up three bottles of wine. And so we kind of had a wine and pizza and brownies party at the house and everybody hung out. And it was, it's our first chance really to entertain on any scale. It was really cool that we were able to have, and this is kind of the, the, the Latin American thing, right? What do you do? You either go out to restaurants and go hear live music or everyone comes. Oh, what is that? I, it's really far. I think those are goats. And you can, <laughs> this is how you walk down. I don't know how you walk down this to get down there. That is seriously steep. And then you're in that field full of goats. I mean, goats can go down that. The way they're walking and the way they look and the size they appear to be, I'm pretty sure those are goats, but interesting. So we had a really 
cool evening doing that. If you watch like House Hunters International, and I realize that is not the definition of what it's like living places. But you watch House Hunters International, the thing that everyone does, they pick out a house, they do all this stuff, and then they come back six months later and it's like, we met the neighbors and we're, we're doing a dinner party. And it's like this really interesting, oh, that's what you do. And you kind of have this view that expats move into Latin America and host dinner parties after a little while. And we haven't been able to do that or anything like it. And now suddenly, that is what we did and it was so much fun we had all these people and we have a house that's big enough and we're able to to lay out all the pizzas and everybody's able to eat and the kids are all off playing and some of them are playing video games and some are watching tv and they're doing legos and all kinds of stuff together and uh play board games together that was great really really good time and it's great that some of the kids speak english as well uh so there's like crossover so that there's they're able to communicate a bit more and and all the adults hanging out outside and we have all the space and the dogs running around it was just such a nice fun evening it was really cool so that was our first time having a dinner party with with like real guests and now we're feeling like, boy, this house makes sense. Boy, this whole, we're getting the lifestyle now. And we kind of missed some of it when we were in the city. And now we've got it figured out. And of course, we know so many people now. It makes it so much easier that uh, we're able to do things like that. It's pretty cool. All right, the sun is getting low. I am pretty much, I've been out walking for more than half an hour. My heart rate is up. I'm going to get a quick view of this cool house that I'm coming up on. It's so weird, you walk and you're like country, and then there's little communities, and then there's like nestled little houses. You can never figure out what you're gonna find. And I mean, I grew up in the country, so I knew growing up in, in Pavilion, New York, sometimes you'd end up with this wild stuff. So first of all, I'm gonna show this drainage ditch, because these stepped drains are a big thing. Look how deep that is, right? That could take millions of gallons of water pouring down there. And then there's like this wild field, and then these beautiful gates with these carved horse heads. And then there's an estate up there, this beautiful driveway going up, and this big lawn, and all the, it's like a plantation house up there. And then there's a dog over here and a wall and some stuff. So I'm just gonna walk up to the top of this ridge, and I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna give you guys as much as my battery will allow. I think it'll let me, oh yeah, my battery's doing great. As long as it doesn't overheat, I'm gonna be able to give you guys kind of a high speed walk back. Oh, these are cute dogs. We're gonna go say hi, because they're here. There's no traffic, so we can say hi to the doggies. Hello, doggies, you're famous. You are now on YouTube. They're like, no one ever walks out here. What are you doing? I'm like, all right, Nicaraguan dogs. It's a beautiful day out here in the country. I'm heading back into the city. Thanks for joining me.